What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the Hibernating Coffee. Oh my gosh, I have to redo this deck name a million times. Here's the combo. Uh, we are running Hibernating Berry and also running Pear Cup. So of course the card that goes together with both of these is Galactic Cactus. This explodes, so it's one damage to everything. It'll turn your Pear Cup into a 5-4 and it'll turn this dude into a 4-7. Now, Hibernating Berry is a card that I feel like is definitely underused. It has a lot of potential. I mean, it has a lot of stats for a 3-drop. Just think of it as a 4-4. Now, you have to activate it. That's the problem. This deck has a few ways of activating it. First of all, uh, running Banana Peel, which is a Mega Grow card. So you got to do that with Grass Knuckles. You can be moving zombies into the Hibernating Berry or into the Pear Cup. This is also a... Um, Banana also like Conjure, so it's actually pretty good with Triceratops, so it'll make your Triceratops grow. The other cool combo that I want to try is Coffee Ground. See, if you play Hibernating Berry or the Pear Cub in front of something, it doesn't attack that turn. But if it's in a ground lane and you have Coffee Grounds there, the opposing minion is going to attack it. And then since this has Double Strike, it will actually attack. So your Hibernating Berry, for example, will get four attack and attack back for four if it's in coffee grounds same thing again uh, the, the pair cups will have a cool combo but the pair cup will attack it'll turn into a five four and then that five four grizzly pair will be doing the bonus attack anyway bonus attack should be good very good with the triceratops and the black ip uh, and you know the hard hitting cards that we're running in this deck we're running a bunch of plant foods as a finisher and of course just forget me not to sort of get us um you know protect the cards from getting removed and just gaining tempo it's a tempo deck Let's see how the deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. We get right into the games. We've got some blockbusters in case people are running Pogo. They don't want to run into that. Brian, my dad hates you so much because I'm always watching your videos in front of him. What do you say to him? I say, get that weak stuff out of here. That's what I say. Now, this is a very wholesome, educational... Wonderful community, and if your son wants to belong somewhere, I don't think I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We just playing games. I know that wasn't the, the greatest sales pitch. I think we're gonna go one, two, three, and I've got to force anything here. We got a good starting hand. Let's hold on to it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go this. Uh, usually. Um, Triceratops wants to go, well, either one or four. Maybe Seriously, because we have the coffee grounds, I'll put them four. Don't take more day quill than two tablespoons every six hours. Uh, thank you. That's Tylenol, right? It's a metaphan. It's a metaphan. Metaphan. Uh, just rumble here. Oh, I forgot about bets. Guys, if you think this deck will go 8 wins out of 10, vote yes. 7 wins out of 10 is a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Prime up. This game should go pretty fast. When? Oh my gosh, I have to redo this whole thing. Eight out of ten games is a yes. Let's go. Okay. He can't use any tricks. He can't deadly because we have a uh, forget me nuts. Okay. Look at juicy patty walking in the final. Wow. Rude. Uh, probably plant food to keep this alive, right? Ooh. 
The simp commander looks a little annoying. I think he'll do it. Well, he'll draw one card either way, so let's do it like this. Oh, I actually could have killed it with this card. Maybe. It's okay. Start getting banana bombs pretty good. You bet by pressing the predict button. It should be on top or below the chat somewhere. Dayquil so bad. Ugh. Terrible. There's the deadly. So Banana Bomb actually just takes us out. That's fine. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Why Moth Hunter? Why? Why did he smoke bomb that to here and not to the Triceratops? Is the real question. Plus it killed- oh my gosh, that was such a bad play. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah! God damn it. Uh, this looks pretty good. Can we just win with Coffee Grounds or does he have another smoke bomb? God damn it. Well, we need two damage now. At least this dies. He's just not drawing any cards, is he? Time to shine wins. Planfu wins. Uh, Blockbuster probably wins this turn. Black IP is actually better here. Because uh, he's probably going to play a trick. That, that, that's not, I mean, unless he played a 7 drop in there. Guess we'll find out now. Nope. So this will just have more stats, harder to kill. Block meter doesn't matter. And pop. Looking for a double fruitcake. for double final mission. It's not a bullseye deck, but it, you know, you utilize the bullseye ones. Oh my gosh. He does not have final mission fruitcake here. Oh my god. Okay. The man survived somehow. That was like a four for two though. I think we're in decent shape. Holy crap. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll go like this. Like this. Bodyguard is cool. We also have a time to shine in here. I'll just go bodyguard instead of the other two. Decent. Da da da. He needs fruitcake stuff. Yep, the man. He's not running fruitcake, he's running all this deadly. He's running final mission. Probably you told me to vote. No, don't come down and blame me, okay? You gotta take some goddamn responsibility for your decisions. I'm just gonna become the Jewish Andrew Tate, okay? Listen, guys, you gotta take some responsibility for your life, okay? Like, that's what you gotta do. Okay? I don't know what he says. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't listen to him. And then we'll have just a big, like, a race war because apparently he's a Muslim now, so that'll be fun. <laughs> I, I don't know where this stuff comes from, man. It's just floating around in this big old, big old giant sized head of mine. <laughs> it's the day cool talking, guys. 
It's the day quill. There's a call going around California. There's one going around Toronto. Toronto, he does not have cough medicine. I bought some Dayquil, uh, brandless quill, but I had to go to four stores to find a bottle of this at the jackpot. There's no cough medicine. Apparently, there's the thing supply. I don't know if it's supply or everyone has a cold. That's one of those things. <coughs> what do we do with this hand? All right. Who's Andrew Tate? He'll be the, the next person who Googles his name. Apparently the most Googled name in the world right now. Apparently. Uh, this is fine. We usually save this for turn three against Rust Ball. I could have really just passed there, actually. Gone two, and playing all this on three, and then or the or two for this on four, yeah. I probably should not have played it. There's nothing he's gonna play. He can't, like, even play summoning or... Let's go. You don't need cough medicine. Take a tablespoon of honey to Does that work? Does straight honey work? I have honey. Lazarus coming in with the wisdom. Okay, I'm gonna try some honey, guys. Straight honey. I'll get a sugar high. It'll be fun. <coughs> what is he doing? So give him one of these. Wow. Top deck madness. I'll take it. And we give him one of these. Damn, we have so much tempo now. It's Kite Flyer, so slow. Andrew Tate. Exactly, guys. I'm changing my key channel name. It's the greatest idea. Andrew Tate. <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't want to do gaming, if I just wanted to make skits and just be, just, I don't know, the next, like, what was the guy's name again? Filthy Frank, or whatever the name was? I could totally do it. So watch this play now. Do we want a 4-7, or do we want a... I guess this play's a little better around Rolling Stone, right? So we'll, we'll move this out of the way. This is 5 right here. And we'll just put this in the water. So it's a 5-4. This also hits. Doesn't need to. Lemon juice, honey, brandy. Uh, we probably win here. We... <laughs> we... This might screw it up, though. Yeah, it did. Oh, well. I used to be so worried about like what I would do, you know, if PvZ Hero servers got shut down. But you know, like that's what I want to like, do. Another, it's fun playing other games. I've been loving playing like Inscription and stuff like that. I'm not really worried about it anymore because I know that if I can, I I need to do one thing at a time. I put everything in my entire being into creating a PvZ Heroes channel, and it worked. I could do it for another game or another topic. I just gotta be all in on something to do two things at once. I don't know, man. I, I have to just not, not stress myself out. I feel like that's personally how it works for me. <laughs> Did the Triceratops end up at 69 there? Nice. Should we try this? This The stupidity right now? The dumbness? <laughs> that looks like a pretty good stirring here. So what? Uh, what is this? Oh my gosh, it's a rank 10. Do I concede? Are we late in the season that this is like a fret? What rank am I, guys? I have to check the YouTube stream to see which, uh, what rank I am. I have no idea. I've been playing some offline. But... What rank am I? Oh, I'm Ultimate League already. Uh, I think we just concede this game. I don't think this is entertaining to play against the guy with baseball zombie.
Hmm. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna try the game stuff like this. I wanna bring back some games that I really like, like Super Auto Pack. But no pressure. I'm, I'm really just getting off being sick. I shouldn't even be thinking about it. I have a tendency to always be like... Real, just being like self-ambitious, just way over the top. So I like, even when I, it was really hard for me to take off time when I had a cold. I still have a cold and I'm already, <laughs> I haven't fully recovered and I'm still streaming. Let's see, now what? I'll, uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll upload the Besiege. It's all on YouTube. I just have to publish them. I'll, I'll do it soon, guys. Just taking it one day at a time here. Baseball zombie counters, fry em up WTF. I think I'm gonna just do this. <laughs> Your friend just faced me? And he was upset that I can see it? I don't know. I don't know, I don't really wanna... If the matchmaking in this game is gonna make me in rank 50 go against a rank 10, I don't know, man. If he was ranked 50 in running baseball zombie, I'll kick that guy's kick his ass. But uh okay, how do we do this? This will go to three. Uh we can actually just kill this. I mean, we don't want this to have high health. We want this to die. I don't even have to use time to shine. I'll go like this. And thank you. And like it. Four, five. <laughs> it was a joke, Fry. I have no friends. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Your name is Starch Lord OP. I don't think anything you say seriously. <laughs> And that'll go up to 5-7. Triceratops, completely balanced card. You guys know how it is. Uh, I'm just trying to debate him with this. We'll get him with the pair code now. I guess if he doesn't go after that. I don't know what it is. Can you go after this, please? Bro, double interdimensional. Time to shine the, 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 the line of card. It could be pretty good here. Bro. I think I time to shine. Denies a card. He's not gonna kill this now, probably. And we'll just go like this. <coughs> Ooh, we could teleport that. Man's got two cards left, so anyway, just making a terrible trade, oh, that's fine. It means he doesn't have a, uh, a chop or whatever. He already fell, I guess that was a super. Uh, so we're still doing four, nine damage, that's pretty good. The man just doesn't have cards. No regrets, time to shine. This guy's kind of screwed. Yup! Viva la, you're dead. <laughs> Viva la adios amigos. See you next time. Uh, uh, oh, that's pretty good. Imagine being in danger. Pretty good.
This is pretty good, actually. Well, I don't want him using a superpower here. I think this is fine. It denies him one this turn and then one next turn. So. Yeah, we gotta get the hibernating berry, but well, you know, we have it. There, I don't, I don't think forcing mulganing for hibernating berry is correct. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play it right. He, you know, he's very motivated to go after this now because it kills, it splashes and kills the forget me nuts. Doesn't do it at all. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at invasive species. So good. Should I set up invasive species so we can screw him? What would be the play next turn, though? I don't actually know what to do here. Just set up invasive species? Screw it. Screw this guy. Do I play this now, or do I save it for the Triceratops? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll upload the other Siege video, yeah, no worries. So now what? I guess we'll go like this. And like this. These uh, photosynthesizers are popping off. <coughs> okay. Yeah, this dies. We'll set up the coffee grounds eventually. We'll have actually two lanes for coffee grounds now. Really good. It's an 8 3. Chill. Oh, we have a Shamrocket for the guard now, too. Hell yeah. I'll take it. Unless it's a. Uh... Oh my gosh. Unless it's Rodeo Guard. We should be okay here. Supernova Guard. Oh my gosh, he played two? Bruh. Uh, none of his things correct this. Actually, five. Five and two, so we could just rumble here, huh? I don't even have to shamrock it. I think I actually don't shamrock it here. We'll save shamrock it for another card, since we actually have answers to everything here. So it's gonna be What's coffee the grounds. Strength on a Valkyrie you've ever seen? Rumble. <laughs> Triceratops. And then we can set this up here. It's pretty good. 4-4, four, four, double strike bullseye. What's the highest strength in a Valkyrie you've ever seen? I don't know, man. I think I've seen 30s, but... Disco Knot does make Jester's ability bullseye, yeah. Oh, he stole this one. That's it. I like how we have another. He only has one card, well, two cards now. We have a Shamrock to spare. Sheesh. No! It's too expensive. It's fine. Should I do this now and not be a greedy bastard to hit this too? <laughs> He's so low, so.
Is there a problem with Discotron? It's just very expensive, you know? And it doesn't, like, help you win a game. I feel like if you're spending six on a card, it should be finishing off an opponent, not just making a 3-1. I don't know. Uh, we can just win like this. Easy. Love it. <laughs> Man, those photosynthesizers. We got... We got... Uh, Plantern and Invasive Species. Two very good cards with the uh, coffee grounds. Did I have Lethal last turn with the... Uh... Oh. oh, you're right. I could have just played Plantern and forgotten about the... Uh, the... I didn't have to... Sh I'm like, I have the Shamrock. I gotta use it on the... No. <laughs> you can't just go phase. Bruh. Uh, that's pretty good against... This fool. <coughs> oh God. I need a new deck with Headhunter. I want to bring back Headhunter, man. It's a card I haven't used in a long time. And the, we had a period where I was making a bunch of decks with it. <coughs> and it worked really well. Okay, I'm going to try Lazarus's thing with the honey. I have honey. Here, I'll, I'll do it on, on stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said to vote no, but it's Guardian Package, so don't listen to me. I wasn't actually saying I'm not going to try to win. I'm saying my brain is somewhere else. All right, so I got some nameless, brand nameless, pure honey. <laughs> it's compliments. They're not going to sue me. It's not like I'm such a bad guy that they're not going to be want to be associated with me, you know? It's fine. I'm with one of those. So I'm just gonna put this into a tablespoon, and 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 just eat the honey. People say this works better than Dayquil. So with the Dayquil, then do crap. So, all right, here goes nothing, guys. It's about a tablespoon. Mm, that was good. I'm gonna have a sugar high now, but you guys think I'm hyper enough already. Wait till this honey kicks in. <laughs> I could have rumbled that. I think just more value rumbling this next turn here. Potentially. Basically, always rumble though. I'm kind of committing to rumble. <laughs> Am I though? All these tricks get punished so hard. Okay, I'll just rumble. Does he block four damage? It's just bad rumble, man. Mm, I want more. Honey's so good. This is super healthy, by the way. To make a mukbang stream. That looks so painful. I actually watch a guy named Beard eats food. Beard beats food, I think. He's very entertaining. It's kind of fun to watch, but like, I don't. I would never want to do that, man. It looks so painful. He's eating so much. It just like hurts at the end. It's just. <laughs> I don't. Know, it doesn't look fun. Wish I was the spoon. Silly, silly. <laughs> Should I be playing around them? Um... I think I should be playing around like Pogo and not try to go for double strike here. Oh, Brainana? Oh, I could use one of those. Yeah, it's Pogo. That's fine. If he bounces this, he loses two trades. We'll just play it. It's okay. Didn't really lose any cards, you know, playing like... 
<laughs> banana peel and stuff. And I did get banana, so I think it's a win. <laughs> My gosh, Moist. Spoiling. For, it's not like I'm watching football. You can spoil it for me. It's fine. Um, double Triceratops. I think so. What is he gonna do? Play Area 22? He can't play tricks here. He he loses. If he plays a trick, I don't know, man. What is he gonna do? He played Acid Rain, okay. It did kill that. No! Oh my gosh. But that does. But then this went up to 3 4. I don't know if that was net good enough. That's a pretty good Brainana right there, man. I think we take the 6. It, it could end up going here, but it's fine. It's a great Brainana. <laughs> Eat it on that. <laughs> ah, so we're five and now. I want to see the hibernating berry pop off. I feel like it's been okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it killed like a four or five, basically a four four, you know, untrickable fossil head, and then it killed a smashing garg. So the one time we got the hibernating berry, it was really good, but I want to see it. I, I want to see it just take over again. Come on, let's go. Pass 2 3 looks pretty good. This is really more like a 4 four drop. Typically, you're playing like a 2 drop and then a 1. I'm stick. Uh, why is this person on my friends list? Who is this? Well, he's on my friend list. <laughs> Here, we'll, we'll chat with him during the game. That'll be fine. Can you guys see the, the chat? I'm presuming, I'm going out on a limb and saying this is going to go on YouTube, so. What is the one drop? Whoa, that's weird. Should I play around Deadly? I feel like Headstone Carver, if we don't deal with it, it's going to get too much bonus. Jeez. Gosh, it's a 4-3. Wait! Wait! To two two, three two four three. Seems like way too much stats. I don't know. Um, it's probably flame face. <coughs> so for this, this will I mean sort of deal with the this actually deals with flame face better, right? All right, let's. Go. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to shamrock at this thing. Oh man. We're getting absolutely screwed here. I feel like this blockbuster might get us back into the game. I'm taking so much damage. This just does more damage to our face, so I think I'll pass. <laughs> we need a one drop to be able to play this though. Oh, it's deadly. Great. It just calls strike carrots off, so it's okay. Uh. 
Jeez. Nice. So we can move this here. It's like Perica. We can also eliminate this immediately by playing this. It'll be two, three, four. I need this three damage. This will do three. It's probably correct to use this. Maybe, well... Play around. So we have a blockbuster, which could go a long way. We also have a little bit of removal. I mean, he needs one more strike through me, and just a little bit. Seems like he played around Blockbuster last turn. I might go for that again here. He does not have an answer to that. I don't want him blocking. Ignore the barrel for now. But we're gonna exploit this in a sec. Oh, if you grave bust, yeah, if you grave bust a barrel of dead beer, that's an interesting game mechanic. But if you grave bust a Daryl Barrel of Dead Beards, it doesn't spawn a 4 3. That's not a gimme, but it, it's kind of intuitive. <laughs> Dang, you think he has final mission? There's nothing we can do about it if he does. Uh, 2 3 2. Banana, ba banana, 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 banana time. It's pretty good. Bungie and final mission just win. Smoke bomb doesn't win anymore though. Well, I guess it wants to be there. <laughs> so we're doing. We got 15, 18 damage on the board right now. Can we actually win this? This is a come from behind. He had us. Five. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh no. Uh, now what? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. So he's got about a 50% chance here. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's so tense. Wow. Huh? Oh, okay. Um, does this do anything? I guess. I don't know. I guess here, right? 3 1 does make a difference to 2 1. It just needs a card, a removal card, a bungee, anything, man. Oh, no, no, no. He said GG. Yeah, oh, yes, we won! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Was, it was, it was health, it was sugary tree. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would have beaten us. We got it though, guys. Holy crap. What a game. What a game. What a game. 
Coffee in two was lethal? When? Did I really miss lethal last turn? Because I could have played... Dude, this is what I'm saying. My brain is just not here today, man. Wait a second. Instead of doing coffee grounds, uh, instead of, okay, you're right. It's a little weird. Uh, I have to just think, well, any way, if he has a removal card, I lose the game because it's Bungie Plumber. So what I should have done last turn is instead of playing coffee grounds, remember the turn where I, I, I made the barrel explode and then we had two pair cub, two grizzly pairs, basically, and I put coffee grounds on one of the grizzly pairs to extra five. If I would have put that coffee grounds on the on the bullseye, um, on the bullseye blockbuster, the blockbuster then does three times two is six plus five plus five. It would have been sixteen damage. He only had fifteen health, so that would have ensured that he didn't block. He would have needed to roll double threes. Good call. <laughs> uh, this looks cool. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This hand. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be the one. Let's we'll see if he has rock wall. If he has a removal card, obviously, don't do anything. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. You got to get these hibernating berries going go on. Come on. Good game to I am stick, though. G Jeez. So, yeah, let's just play this in lane one. Uh, I'll play around the uh, the lightning bolt here, why not? I know we sort of want this to die. This will be good with coffee grounds, but I, I know we sort of want this to die, but I want I want, I want, want the pressure. I want him to kill it next turn is really funny. <laughs> oh, double bungee, okay. <laughs> the cool thing is, is even if he doesn't make a play, I can set this up and use banana peels to... Roll things into it. I'll just put this in four. Maybe I'll put it in one. So two and four. Yeah, that's Decent. It's a two for one. There's not a whole lot he can do to to make this trade better. Okay, so now it's a five. It's still two for one. It cost him a whole superpower. Oh, that's fine. I can also have time to shine here. I, I'll consider it if he passes. We'll see. I can time- I, well, I can just plant food, actually. I don't even have to time to shine. Screw this guy. He has to fruitcake this now, so it'll be like... It'll just be another two for one. I use plant food, he use fruitcake, and I get a card out of that. <laughs> um... So... Golly, good indeed. I can do these. Should I banana peel first? Let's banana peel first. Let's go here, why not? Just makes it harder to deal. Oh, banana bomb. I think that's... Is that a good enough banana bomb? I think there's gonna be something we want a banana bomb that's gonna be better later. I'll save time to shine for the win. Actually, five and six doesn't win. Oh, oh, I'll see. I think the banana bomb's gonna be more useful down the stretch. That's okay. <laughs> Watch him healthy treat this. Yeah. I'll just blockbuster here. It'll be double strike bullseye three damage for you. So. We want to play around. That's a good card. I'll take that card. It's almost kind of like a mini bullseye, you know? It only charges block meter for one on average. Bruh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, he has no cards, so that's fine. 
Still two bullseye. Pretty good. From Gorman. Uh, it's a banana bomb. I think we time to shine now. Yeah, I can. Oh, gosh. How can you barely got it done there? Come on, guys. So we're 7 and 0. I haven't lost a game in a while. I don't know. The last stream was 8 and 0. I don't know if the one before that was the 10 and 0, or I don't remember. No, it wasn't. <laughs> the one before that was that Gladiator deck. I haven't streamed in a while. I'm sick. That's cool. We're really looking for like a photosynthesizer. I, I think I'm all good. Oh my gosh. Should we just be that guy? Okay, we're gonna be that guy. Hopefully it's not con man. Hopefully it's just pass. All, all I wanna see here is a pass. La la la. We are that guy, it's official. I wanna see another pass. I wonder if I play that on ground so we can protect it with the rumble next turn. Come on, pass. Come on, pass. <laughs> Got him. Uh, uh, uh. La 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 la. Oh, blockbuster and stuff like that. You know that don't, don't do nothing, right? You know I don't do Keith nothing, right? I got a new deck idea. If you play pea shooter behind Torchwood, it gets plus two strength. <coughs> so if you play all your peas behind Captain Combustible. Very great idea, Samish. I wish I would have thought of that myself. I don't know if that helped my throat, the honey. Probably better than the day cold, though. It's just nasty. Okay. Okay, got skunk punk. I'll be rumbling that. Two more. <laughs> why, why am I such a bastard today? That's the real question. Huh? Huh? Now we just plant food into that? Guys, I think the answer is gonna be yes, pretty sure. Uh, nice try. Photosynthesizer wins in lane three. Plant food wins in four. Uh, if he, well, okay. See ya. <laughs> Imagine being able to play PvZ heroes. I did not let him play the game. Damn, forget me not. It's a stupid card. Why I always run it. <laughs> Most bastard card ever. All right, guys. Well, we're eight and zero. We're going for ten. <laughs> That'll settle the bet. Nidhog King. You guys, ever play Nidhog? That's a fun game. It's like a fencing game. Fencing as in dueling with a rapier, not as in building a fence. That would be that would be fucking boring. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Is this good against Rust Bowl? I think I'm gonna keep it. For 8 0 anyway, I wanna I want this to shine a little more. I haven't had a, enough hibernating moments. Uh yeah, so the answer is yes. Congratulations to the 74 who spotted Guardian package and we're like, hmm, how about yeah? I wonder if I if I let the I don't know. Do I play this? <coughs> Better take a sip of water for my beautiful. We need a leap mug. There happens to be a link to in the description of this video. And hell yeah, this is going on YouTube. It's basically a foregone conclusion. That's sumo! If it was anything that wasn't sumo, teleportation zombie goes here. Get wrecked, sumo. It has to be sumo. 
Ah, read that man like a book. Like a book read that man. Now what? Now what, fool? Got him. Also, if he if he takes the damage, which he probably will, Rumble just kills that. Yes! If I stop dying, Dave will need to take over the channel if you die of Ligma. Ligma's so much fun. It's the best way to die, though. Wow, that's a fine play. A fine play. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> It's, it's always late at night, too. I don't know if the air just dries out because they turn off the heat in this apartment building at night. I don't really know what the thing is. Yes, my apart apartment building has central heating, so it's really old. That's not fancy, by the way. I don't even think I rumble this. Yeah, let's see what we got. <laughs> Planter. I think we we set this up now that we have a shot. Take three damage to face, and we'll be able to capitalize on that a little bit more down the stretch. So he has this mascot set up, and we don't really have an uh, uh we don't have any prospects of answering it anytime soon. On the other hand, oh, so now we got it set up. Let's see if he has a coach. If he doesn't have a coach, though, oh my gosh. He doesn't have a coach. So it's 2-1. He's going for weed spray? That would be insane to actually try to weed spray this board, though, bro. Might be going for rocket. That would make sense. Okay, I'm gonna presume he's going for rocket. So let's start setting up some tempo. I'd love to get a one drop. That would be fun. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell! Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking, man! Photosynthesizers are popping off today. We got another plant turn, by the way. Holy crap, Photosynthesizer. You're so good! Mmm! He has Rolling Stone. Okay. Uh, I like this one better, because it's... I mean, this is killing his dude and preventing him from playing tricks. I like this one better. Bruh. Okay, well, man. <laughs> He's thinking it's great. He needs us to win. I don't get it. It still did four damage bullseye. I love it. I pity the fool. Pity. Hey, this is a combo. Oh my gosh, we're doing it. Oh my god. No, oh no, we can't do the combo. Should I play this anyway? Screw it, I'm playing it anyway. Pit it a boom. I think Banana Launcher kind of seals the deal here in this game. It's the least powerful. We, maybe it should just be going for the win, but. I think, I think it just, it's another must answer, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's gonna be the ball game, folks. That is gonna be the, the way the news rolls. How the news goes. Oh, no, 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 does he not? Oh, well, we're a little lost there. Guys, it's not enough. Let's let's be practical here. I'm a practical man. It is nine and zero. Two and one is he? Okay, yeah. So that's getting banana bombs. I'll take things which get banana bombs. That's the Jeopardy category for five hundred. Ah! Oh, give that man a leap. That guy needs a leap. Alright, one more scoop of honey, guys. I'm not hyper enough yet. I don't think this is working last. Okay. Okay. That's pretty damn good. 
But we need hibernating berry. Nah, that's pretty good. Really good card against Super Brainstorm. I think I'll play this on ice just so I can get lasered. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going with banana. -na. Banana. -na -na. Hey, hey. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man, we gotta get that. We gotta get that center off. Uh, I, I say I'm actually not gonna play around laser. Screw that. <laughs> Screw that stuff, man. So he has a pot of gold in his deck, so that's cool. The pot of gold should go, like, in the top ten cards or something, you know? No! Good smoke bomb. Banana, goodbye. I'm I'm feeling lucky here. I'm gonna do this. I feel like I'm gonna banana peel something into here and kill this for free. So I'm not even gonna go for the trade. <laughs> it's complete garbage. It dies for free. It's a free die. There's also the eventuality he's playing a a, a freaking line dance exactly. <laughs> hey Fry, you are my favorite autistic person. I'll take it as a compliment. I have superpowers, okay? We need a Is that a po- we that's a pro- leave. is that- it doesn't make sense if what it's a pogo though. Bomb. I don't really get it. Why would he put it here? It dies- it's a two for one. Dude, why would you play that here though? It doesn't make sense. It's <laughs> not a good play. Not a good play. Thank you, Zadar. Holy crap. 51 months. What a schmuck. <laughs> Just trying to be a Jew. I know we're, we're that cool, guys, but you don't have to, like, pretend to be Jewish. I don't know, man. That's kind of, that's kind of a schmucky thing to do, if you ask me. <laughs> that's probably a, a, a... I don't know what it is, actually. I have no clue. Wow, that was not what I was expecting. We're doing so much damage, Emma. Wait, is he autistic? Like, I'm... I'm on the spectrum somewhere. I probably have, like, really mild Asperger's. Like, I don't... My brain does not work the same as Normie's brains do, so... Everyone's autistic, though. I don't really know. I don't really like the uh, autism concept, because it means too many things. How do you got put the person who's, like, this completely non-functioning, can't even, like, put a sentence together, and you say, well, it's severe autism, put that together with, like, you know, like, Mark Zuckerberg, who's just, like, this genius. Like, it doesn't... I don't... I, I think it's a little bit under-sophisticated. <laughs> just my opinion. Uh, do we just win like this? Alright, guys. It's it's 10 and 0. Easy claps. Another 10 and 0. It's a wonderful day for all the Jews, indeed. Let's get the 10 and 0 up on the screen if it means anything. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, so that was the hibernating coffee deck. I think Hibernating Berry was good. I have another deck for Hibernating Berry, which is going to be with Wall Knight. And we're going to, like, heal the Hibernating Berry. I, I, I like it a little bit of a slower deck. I think that's, that's going to be fun, too. So we'll try that, guys. But anyway, hell yeah, it's going on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the Hibernating. It, they popped off, though, man. And the Pair Cubs and everything. It's there's this is some underrated cards here. Pair Cup and Hibernating Berry. So uh, we will keep it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Peace. This is Fry.